Hey there folks, Santee and Dirty Dan here at the Hi. Arizona Ghost Riders. Red Dead Redemption 2, we're doing a follow-up video. A uh, follow-up video? Yep. Oh, yeah, the the first one was amazing. The first one what? The first video. Oh, so you watched the video? I watched some of them. I, I just, you do a wonderful job. Thank you. Uh -huh. Why are you being nice to me? Maybe I'll get the hitch in this one. Oh, Phil. <laughs> Since Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, this channel has gained a lot of attention. It appears that this enthralling game has motivated players to learn more about the Old West. <laughs> Having played the game myself, I can see why. Press L3 to crouch. Now one, two. Where is L3? Well, um... There was a learning curve, but in this open world game you have so many frontier era things you can do. I mean, I robbed a stagecoach. Hmm. Not bad, Santee. I've gotten quite a few questions about the historical significance in the game, and this is the follow-up to my previous Red Dead video, so let's get started. Arthur, the main character, can wear a bandolier but it has copper jacket and ammo in it. Was this even around? In 1882, a Swiss army officer invented jacketed ammunition. So yes, it was around. You have me at a loss. You know my name, but who are you? I'm not sure how common it was out west where they were still giving each other lead poisoning. Question number two. Dutch Vanderlyn wears a nice gun belt. Is it right for the era? Dutch, Agent Ross, and many others wear what is known as a buscadero rig which didn't come about until well after the game's time period. The idea is to drop the holster down to wrist level, which helps the shootist get the gun into action quicker. So, sorry, but not historically accurate. Question number three. I see white towels on the bars in the saloons. What were they for? They were for wiping the suds from beer off of the mustache. Many people in the Old West had luxurious facial hair. Those of us with stashes can sympathize. I don't know about you. And I take comfort in that. Question number four. One clothing option is a jeans jacket. They weren't around until later, right? Now well, I had to look this one up. Levi Strauss, who created the rugged denim pants that are still made today, came out with a jacket in 1880. So they were around. Question number five. When Arthur hunts, he can skin the animals and roll up the hide. Is that all he had to do to sell or craft them in the Old West? No. He would have had to tan them as well, or the skins would have rotted or weakened. They don't show this action in the game, it would just take too long. Butchers and trappers do the work for you in Red Dead Redemption 2. Question number six. What's with the bartender's weird sleeves? These sleeve covers are to protect the sleeves and cuffs of the shirt from getting soiled while working. They could also be seen on store clerks and newspaper printers. Question number seven. Some of the Lemoyne Raiders and others wear Civil War uniforms. Was this done? Unlikely. By the Reconstruction era, many northern forces and carpetbaggers were transforming the South. Wearing these old uniforms would draw unwanted attention and could cause disagreements. By 1899, I can only imagine that these clothes would have fallen apart if repeatedly worn. Hey, you Reb! You better hightail it out of here while you can! As stated in the previous video, Red Dead Redemption 2 is an amazing game. I thoroughly enjoyed playing it and was pleasantly surprised when they hit the mark with historical accuracy. Even the inaccurate things didn't bother me too much. Yet, it got you all watching and learning about this fascinating time period, so I call that a win. Thank you, Rockstar Games, for keeping the spirit of the Old West alive. There's no place like home. 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 There's no place like... Ow! What are you guys doing? What are you doing? I was having a dream. I was playing Red Dead Redemption 2, and it was awesome, and you were there, and you were there, and, and you were there. Would you like to go back? I would love to. I mean, I was I was doing a stagecoach. I was robbing a train. And... Thank you. Well, folks, 
Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail.